It's a bird. It's a plane. It's a flying wheelchair. No, nope, and definitely not. This is the Cadillac Personal Space, a robo-taxi that's part of the brand's Halo concept portfolio that provides a vision of what transportation might look like in the coming decades. Let's take an up-close and personal look at this aerial curiosity. The personal space, along with the boxy social space, both debuted virtually at CES last year. Cadillac's inner space coupe concept debuted at the trade show this year, and we will have videos on all three of these concepts, so make sure you check them out. I mean, you're already watching one third of them with this video, but when you're done here, go check out the other two, please. Anywho, this is our first up-close and personal look at this single-seat autonomous drone. It hints at the sort of vehicles GM's luxury division wants to build in the coming years and coming decades, and it's quite a departure from an Escalade or a CT5V Blackwing, don't you think? Aside from its single seat, the personal space has four rotors and supposedly a 90 kilowatt hour Altium battery pack, a powertrain that provides a top speed of about 55 miles an hour. But how about the range? Well, GM hasn't shared any info on that, so your guess is as good as mine, but you probably won't want to plan any transcontinental flights in this thing. The real use case for this vehicle is much more local. It's probably intended for well-heeled executives to jet off from their corporate helipad off to meetings downtown, flying right over all of the congestion and noise and poor people on the streets below. The Cadillac Personal Space concept takes the idea of an autonomous pod car one step further by freeing it from the limitations of the ground. Plus, it's pretty sweet. You feel like Captain Kirk or Emperor Palpatine in this awesome recliner. Now, autonomous air taxis seem like kind of a crazy idea, an impossibility at this point, but I would absolutely love one of these things, and I know a lot of you out there would as well. So fingers crossed these things get built sooner than later.